morning and welcome to my desk. Today I'm going to talk to you about notebooks and specifically my writing journal because it is time for a brand new writing journal. If I just go through my little pile here and I'll explain to you what all of these are in a short moment, but this is my you see that this is my current writing journal it is a perfectly penned pink one and i have reached the last few pages so i'm on page 224 and it has hopefully got down here telling me that it is time to buy myself a brand new notebook so this is what i've been using for oh i i tried to work it out because unhelpfully i did not start with a date which i normally do at the start of my journals but i believe it was in march it's taken me a while to fill this one in there have been moments where i have ignored my journal um it's well it's because I've been so busy writing other things. I had a stint where I was writing a lot on Medium. Um, I, I've been writing on my Substack and I just didn't have anything left in me to write in my journal. But um, yes, so this one is nearly finished. So it's time to start a new one. Now, before... I open my new one and show you that. I thought I'd just talk you through some of the journals I have currently got. Now, on the screen at the moment, you can obviously see my current notebook on a pile of other notebooks. But in this corner up here, I have some more notebooks. These are all blank, empty notebooks. I purchased them very, very recently and I was almost tempted to use them or one of them as my writing notebook. So I'll just show you what I've got. A lot of these were from HomeSense except for a few now this one is too small to be a writing notebook but i'm a big agatha christie fan and could not resist this i don't know what i'm going to use it for it is a line notebook as you can see and it's dark green which i also love like i say don't know what i'm going to use that one for but i'm sure i will come up with a um, purpose for it at some stage um, this one, another green one, was from my trip to Cambridge a few weeks back, which I um, did a video on. This is from a shop called Typo that I've not come across before, but um, that doesn't mean anything because I don't often go shopping, physically shopping, so I don't know much in terms of shops. And then I have this red one. Now, I, I'll admit, I bought these for the colours. I like green, I like red, I like browns, I like oranges. Um, this one is a Tempo notebook, handmade in Italy. And this was from HomeSense. Now, the problem I have with this one is, you can see, it does not lie flat. I love a notebook that lies flat and i struggle with ones like this so i bought this for the aesthetic and i'm not ashamed about that because i like to surround myself with pretty things this one is an a4 notebook and again it's from typo and it's got black edges as you can see if the sun's not too bright and on the inside it is lined and this one lies flat i was i was very tempted to use this as my writing journal the paper is a little bit thin for me 
I'm still quite tempted to use it as my writing journal, but I'm, I think it's a size issue. I think it's just too big to carry around with me in the car or in my bag. Now, again, these ones, I have got another two from HomeSense, this orange one and the green one. And these are by Robert Frederick Limited. They are the size of a, um, that they're, they're not A5, they're A5 something, A5 plus. They're, there's a specific word for it, but they're very similar to the light term size notebooks that I like. But these have got a hard cover. Again, very tempted to use one of these as my notebook. But again, the paper is a little thin. And then finally, no, not finally, I also have this one, which is a moleskin one. I'll probably use this as my client notebook. This one has already been set aside to use to make notes um, when I'm talking to my clients. And then finally, I have this one, which I picked up from Sainsbury's, I think it was, even though... It says Habitat on it because I think they sell Habitat stuff in Sainsbury's. And it's a really lovely, chunky, lined notebook. But it's one I would like to keep on my desk. And it, this cover is hard. Um, it is a ring-bound one, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I just thought this one was rather lovely. So um, it ended up in my basket somehow so i'll just put these ones back but like i say i like to have notebooks around me they they're like ornaments to a certain extent but i do also use notebooks i use a lot of notebooks so this is my current one my journal, my writing journal. This one is my planning journal. And this is another perfectly penned one, part of their new collection. And this one is a dotted, I don't know if you can see that. It's a dotted notebook and it is therefore perfect for my planning because I draw little squares and stuff like that. So um, yeah. I, I really like this. It's A5, thick paper, perfect, perfectly penned. I also have um, my current diary, which I use at the moment um, with a nice rainbow edge. This is from Collins. And then my completed tasks notebook. Yes, I need a separate notebook for that, um, where I write down all my accomplishments that I've done really really small ones so i can see the progress that i'm making and this is a brown dingbats and it's got a bear on the front and then the other one i'm currently using is this one and this is from john lewis and again i picked this one up because i thought it was a nice Practical size, it's got a cardboard cover, lined paper, and I use this to for my substack and to make notes and prepare for my podcasts and for essays and things like that that I put on my paid section of my substack. So these are the notebooks I am currently using. And despite the fact that I have those notebooks sitting there waiting to be used I ordered <laughs> I ordered myself two more notebooks for my writing journal so these are the two notebooks that I have just purchased the first one and I've had both of these before and that's that's why I've bought them because they are my go-to, my reliable ones. At the beginning of this year, 
I tried a different notebook. I really struggled with it and I did not enjoy writing in it. And I think it's important when it's my writing journal that I enjoy writing in it, that it's not a task to have it open. It's not a fight to keep the pages open. And like I say, I like them to lie flat. This is a Le Mans. It has, I, I mean, I've spoken about this before in my videos, but it's got a little holder there for your pen, which is quite useful because the perfectly penned one comes with a pen holder that you can stick in yourself. But it does mean that as you get to the end, you can feel it as you're writing. So the Le Mans one is here, so it's out the way. That's which is quite handy. This is a lined one. I believe you can still get dotted ones and uh, gridded Le Mans notebooks. Although opening this, have they always been dashed lines? I don't know if you can see that in on the screen, but they are dashed lines and I'm not sure I like the aesthetic of that, which is... <laughs> A rather ridiculous thing to say um, or maybe it's just because I'm used to perfectly penned ones now but this is one of my favorite notebooks to write in it's got a bookmark and it's got an elasticated strap and a envelope at the back it's very basic but it's got nice thick paper and it lies flat and that's all I want, thick paper and flat. So that's one option. And this is my second option. I do like the way that both Perfectly Penned and Le Mans come in boxes because it means they don't get damaged in the post. And it it's even more of a treat to open it, even more of excitement. Um, not that I open it in a particularly gentle way, but here we have, is it turquoise, is it green, is it blue? Turquoise, I think I'll call it. So this is my new writing journal. I've already decided it's going to be the perfectly penned one. Again, hardback, again, thick paper. This has got solid lines all the way through. It's also got page numbers, which I really like. It's got two bookmarks. It's got the elasticated strap and the envelope at the back. And as I've already mentioned, although I have dropped it as I opened the journal, it's also got the little strap and you peel off the, the sticky on the back and put it on the back page wherever you want your pen to go. So that is going to be my new journal. And I have to say, it's not very autumnal colour, is it? The newer notebooks that Perfectly Penned have released are more my colour. They're, they're darker colours and they've got um, embossing on the front, like this one. However, they are dotted, so they're not for me for in terms of writing in them they're more for bullet journaling or planning or things like that so yes that is me unboxing my brand new writing journal and sharing all the journals i have around me that i don't feel bad about because they keep me happy and i have to be happy at my desk otherwise i wouldn't sit here would i and write <laughs>